Welcome back. <clears throat> I shaved. Mostly. I kept a mustache. I don't know if you can see. <laughs> it's awful. It looks terrible, but I love it. I love a mustache. I just wish I could grow a better one. My blonde hair does not agree with um, facial, facial hair. I was trying to find a different word than hair, but I couldn't do it. I couldn't do it. But yeah, uh, today. Oh, there is a cot here, huh? <laughs> Interesting. That was um. <laughs> Interesting. Very interesting. I somehow missed that every single time I ever walked through here. Um. Anyway, today <clears throat> I'm just gonna be looking, looking to figure out who these three guys are. I feel like I want to start with this one because he was the one that uh, he was the one that helped with what am I trying to say he was the one that helped with the kidnapping so I feel like he's he's a, a, a more significant character so it might be better to start with him Okay, yeah, he's here because he was just sleeping in his cot. But they were all sleeping in their cot. Hammock. <laughs> they were all sleeping in their hammock. And he was... We don't even have to go in the memory. He was, uh, he was sitting up here. Just watching. Look at his smug face. He knows what's up. He knows that guy didn't do it. So I don't know if... I mean, maybe. Maybe I should look in here. I'll, I'll come back to this. I want to, like, at least look at each of the memories. And then he was here. But I definitely looked at this one and couldn't see anything significant about him. And then he died in this memory. But he was saying stuff too, right? They say strange things about monsters. But that doesn't really help me place his name. <laughs> that doesn't help me place his name at all. I think I'm going to look at this memory. The execution. They are all present here anyway, right? Maybe not all of them. Just two of them. I thought I forgot to actually hit record for a second. That would have been annoying. It's happened. It's happened before. You wouldn't know about it because it didn't get recorded, but I've definitely been talking to myself for like 10 or 15 minutes before and uh, fucking didn't didn't press record. <clears throat> All right, let's see. So these two guys are our two Chinese topmen. What kind of what kind of identifiers? I mean, other than like this guy has hair and this guy's bald and this guy's got like an open open collar shirt. And then this guy's just got the, like, I have no idea what that style is called. But not an open collared shirt. Yeah, I don't see anything. Are they, like, maybe one of them's missing a finger or something? <laughs> not sure how that would help me. Looks like they, they got all five digits there. Yeah, they're just- they're just hanging out. I don't know. They're just hanging out. Maybe the chicken knows. Alright, so I guess this first guy is a bust. Unless there's something... Ah, uh, you know what? There might be. Because, um... The guy I thought was O'Hagan... 
the Russian. I think it was, I want to say Volkov. I don't remember which one, but he had the bag with him, with the pipe in it, and he was smoking his pipe during the escape. So maybe this guy, the topman I'm looking at, maybe he also had some personal belongings with him that could help. Where would that be? Oh, I gotta go back up. <clears throat> right, it's, it's like these bodies right here. I have no idea which one's best to dive into first. They're back. Okay, are you the guy? No. You're the Formosan? That guy was fucking pissed. Which he had every right to be. Oh, there's the other boat. Alright. Where's my man here? What the fuck? Oh, he must have gotten pulled overboard. Oh, they, they each have shells. One, two. Maybe they all had shells on them. Does someone have a shell? Oh, I don't see a shell on that one. I think it's just the two shells. I think there's just two shells. Okay, so let's jump in... I guess her, maybe? Not sure. I just need to see this guy die. Where do they get that chest? What's in that chest that affects the mermaids like that? Oh, here he is. Okay. So let's just go. Let's just jump into his corpse. Part one. Okay, he, he died first. Check the loaded on me, sir. So he just instantly got speared. I'm not seeing anything. I'm not seeing anything. He didn't bring anything special. Let's just let's get out of here. Let's get out of here and go back to the um, one of the other guys. Let's look at one of the other guys. I think he's just gonna have to be the one that we name just by process of elimination, maybe. So where was the next one? Oh, not here. Uh. Oh, right. This isn't going to help me. This. Let's do this guy instead. He was electrocuted. But he is in five memories. He died pretty early and he's in five memories. So maybe there will be something here because there seems to be a lot of content. Okay, Bitter Coal, yeah, he's asleep in his hammock. He was there during the execution, gotcha. Um. Okay. He's on deck when they were hauling the mermaids up. Maybe. Maybe he was on deck. Is he the one talking to the Formosan? He 
you talk about a shell very dangerous shell what shell Chota. Right, yeah, okay. He must be the one translating this time. <clears throat> Let's get in that memory. Is it this? It must be this. Because he shot the guy. He shot the guy, and there was some weird stuff going on with his loot. So that's probably why they, they handcuffed him. Shells? What shells? <laughs> the mermaid didn't want him talking. Snitches get stitches. And loose lips sink ships. This guy's like, huh? Oh, what would you look at that? It's lethal. <laughs> I don't really know what I'm looking for here. That guy's giving old Lars the death stare. He already wants him dead. Okay, so. So, it's this guy. Do you have any... Is there anything here that would lead me to believe you are of a specific name? <laughs> I don't think so. Maybe I'm not looking in the right places. Is he the last one alive at this point? When did the other two die? Or when does... Well, I, one's already dead, but... So this is him. He gets electrocuted later. Where's the third one? Is he already... Oh, no. He was, um... Okay, so all of them die, like, pretty early. Before even the Kraken gets here. Which I guess the Kraken is kind of late, actually, but... Okay. So there's him and then one other guy and and then the traitor is already dead. So he's here. And then he's also present for this. Do I just need to go to every single memory? I guess I should. It's better to be thorough cuz you waste a little bit of time going through stuff that you don't need but if you're not thorough then you're just you're just taking a huge gamble and if you miss the thing you need then it just takes way longer to figure out where you missed it and have to go back and then you end up going through everything anyway and then the stuff that you did already go through you you have to go through multiple times so it's, it's better just to be thorough I think what memory was I looking for? It was the one where the guy fell and broke his neck, so I think it's over here. Or... No, it's this guy. It was the chef. It was the chef getting his face full of spikes. No, get back. What are you pointing at?
I don't know, maybe it doesn't matter. Oh, and he, this guy is the one that went kind of crazy. He's, he's like onto something. He knows something's up. He's not happy. So then, the topman must still be up here. Is that you? That's the other one. It's the other guy. You, you were the one doing the translating, okay. And you're just helping move boxes. Okay, so uh, it doesn't seem like there's anything here. And then he gets electrocuted. Well, hang on. <clears throat> he gets his neck broke, and then... Yeah, Philip Dahl... Goes crazy and attacks this guy. And this was one of the guys helping haul the mermaid into the lazarette, I think. So, maybe this guy just, like, got... Maybe the mermaid started whispering in his ear and was like, Oh, you want the shell, don't you? And then he, and then he started trying to... He started getting corrupt, so Philip Dahl had to put him down. I don't think there's going to be anything in the lightning memory. But I guess I got to check. I got to look. I was just talking about how it's better to be thorough. And I'm already wanting to skip memories. Okay, lightning strike. He's going to be totally covered in the lightning, so I don't know. Boom! That is such a cool opener. That's such a cool opener. So he's just, he's just dead instantly. I can't see anything like special about him. There's a little bit of lightning coming out of his ass crack there. That's notable. That's Wei Li. So you're the last one left that's alive at this point. I don't see any distinguishing features for you either, though. But you're the last one alive at this point. This guy doesn't have any more memories. What does that mean? This is immediately after that. This guy... Immediately after the lightning strike. You can actually see them... Crawling up the side of the boat... Right now. There's one right there. I don't actually know how many there were. I think there was like... I want to say there was three, but maybe there was just two. He gets stabbed. Okay, so. Immediately after, shit starts going down, so none of them would have, like, gone to sleep, and none of their hammocks would have been... <gasps> picked up, but actually, one of their hammocks would have been. I just don't know if it would have been set. So hang on. <laughs> During... I have to go way back. Because during this, during the murder, it 
Hearts execution where everybody's up. So all their hammocks would have been put away. But then during murder, <clears throat> I think all their hammocks would have been up. But his would be empty. But you can't see any of the hammocks in this memory. And then all hell breaks loose. And then they come back during the day and get to work. And that's like a full day. And then this is like some amount of time later. It could have been, it could have been days because this was daytime. When all this stuff went down, when they hauled in the mermaids. And then this is nighttime. So I don't know how much time passed here, but their hammocks would have been like in use. Well, the other guys wouldn't have been, but I don't know if there's even a memory where I can view hammocks. And <clears throat> if they're all working, then their hammocks would have been like put away anyway. But I can, I can look. And theirs was, if I remember rightly, right here. It's the central staircase, and then to the left. So if I can find... This guy is really close to that, actually. He gets pinned to the wall here. He's, like, like at their hammock, so... If I can see if... if <sighs> nah, see, that's what I was afraid of. There's just no hammock set up. Because everybody was already up and at them. Everybody was already working. Come on, boss. Come on, boss. And then he just gets fucked. He just gets fucked up. And the axe doesn't even do shit. So, not that one. And then he dies here. But. No, because, like, at this point, at this point right here, none of their hammocks are set up. And then this guy dies. So, none of their hammocks would ever be, would ever have any reason to be set up again. So, the hammocks are out. The hammocks are out. There's nothing. There's nothing to look into with the hammocks. I think. Because all the hammocks are down. When he dies. And when this guy dies. They basically die in the same time frame. Just probably. Only like a couple minutes apart. And it's been days. Alright, hang on. Fuck it. I'm gonna go back to the... Eee. Oh, is this guy just hiding? That's, that's wise. That's wise, I don't blame him. I'd probably do the same thing. I'd like to say I'd be like the American that throws an axe at the thing and then gets spiked in the chest, but I'd be the, I'd be the guy hiding. In fact, well, I, I was about to say I'd just jump out the window and, and swim around for a little bit, but the ocean fucking terrifies me, so I don't... I definitely wouldn't do that. I would just hide. I'd, I'd snuggle up inside a cannon and <laughs> hope nobody found, finds me. Um, but I'm also scared of tight spaces, so I probably wouldn't do that either. I, I just, I just accept my death. I just, I just say, I'm here. Do your worst. I, I'm not even gonna try. <laughs> I'm not even gonna try. Ah, uh, fuck. I went off on a tangent. Now I don't know what I was doing. I was looking at this guy. That's what I was doing. 
looking at this guy because he is also right next to their hammocks and maybe they're not here the fucking hammocks aren't here fuck fuck fucking fries the solid meal boys Okay, so that's a bust. What else am I looking for here? Damn. I mean... I'm still- I'm trying to eliminate the possibility that the hammocks will give me any information. Fuck sing lao. I can't I can't look at any of them here. I don't think I can look at any of them here. I'm pretty confident I can't. Should I just try one last time? I should just check one last time. I'm never sure of anything. I've got such a bad memory. If <laughs> anything, this could be a completely different memory than what I'm expecting. But it doesn't take too long to jump into a memory. Yeah, okay, so I cannot... I cannot look at any hammocks here. Get that top! Ah! That poor guy, he tried. He tried to fend off... All of them. You're the traitor. Okay. I can't be the hammocks. Because... <sighs> I can't view them here. And then... I'm pretty sure every other time, like, there are any hammocks, they're all asleep with their faces covered. So. Yeah, I think, I think my last shot here is just going into this last guy's memories. And hoping there's something different. Let's just go all the way back. He's here as well. Oh, right. He was helping unload stuff. <clears throat> I'm thinking I gotta go back into bitter cold. There's gotta be something. Because that's... I don't know. That's just like where I've gotten so much information. And the fact that all three of them are there as well. Maybe I did miss something. Because that seems to be like the the epicenter of uh information for the crew members and it's <clears throat> very conspicuous that all three of the chinamen are are in this memory right oh all four who is 57 shit Alexander Booth. Is this? Am I looking at the? I'm not looking at the right place. This is where they are. Yeah, this is them. There is an extra guy here still. Oh, there's actually five people here. Okay. Forty-one, forty, thirty-nine, thirty-nine, forty, forty-one, thirty-nine, forty, forty-one. So 38 is there. And who's this guy? Number 59. George Shirley. Hmm. Hmm. What could that mean?
So Wei Li and the three other Chinamen are here, along with George Shirley. I kind of let's let's look at the um the doom, but not the pooping one. None of them are even in the doom though. This is well after they all died, too. How soon was the doom after this? Because this, like, was all hectic. This happened at night. It must have been later. It must have been later because everybody was, like, calm and sleeping. So this must have been a day or two after. Which means they're just like... None of their hammocks would be here. I'm gonna look. <clears throat> I'm gonna look real quick, but... I think these guys might... Might defeat me. I think... I think I might actually get stumped. With them. Let's just do any of these guys, it doesn't matter. It is all the same time frame. Okay, so, here. It's just 41, which is probably Wei Li, huh? I don't remember. Yeah, Wei Li. <laughs> I'm so uh... I still don't know what happened to this guy. I think somebody said I I do read all the comments. I just don't I just have a bad memory. I can't remember what people say, but I think somebody told me that this this guy does like actually like get ripped out the window or something. Like his death is is legitimate and he doesn't just disappear. The devs didn't just forget about him. But I don't remember uh, how is it how it was explained to me that you're supposed to figure out what happened to him. It doesn't matter at this point. I don't know why I'm even trying. <clears throat> Li Hong, Fang Li, Zhe Zhang. These guys basically have the same name, but backwards. Hey, Sean. I mean, there's... Uh, I'm, clearly, there's something I'm missing. Because I have nothing. And there's something. So, clearly, there's something I'm missing. None of them are here. That makes sense. Bitter cold. They're all happily sleeping together. Each one is sleeping. Whaley.
This one's probably... I probably can't see anything from that guy because I can't come up here. Oh yeah, I can't... I wouldn't be able to come up here and then walk all the way over to their hammock, so... And it starts, it definitely starts in the, like, surgeon's, the surgery center. So, makes sense that they don't show up here. And they don't show up here. Because that is too low. Yeah, this is where all the, this is the gun deck. So I, I probably can't get up to the gun deck in this one. And then murder, <clears throat> which none of them show up, and I can't leave the hold, or the, the cargo hold, so I don't think that... <laughs> hmm... This guy is absent uh, from the goings on here. Oh, you know what? He might not be. It might be him. Because you can't, like, select him. And I think there's just... Oh, you know what? No. Because he's, he's the Formosan. There's two male Formosans and then... The lady. So that's all three of them as their friends getting executed. Yeah. That's those two guys. So I don't know where that guy would be. He's just not there. Maybe that's a clue I can do something with. Maybe I should go back up into that memory. I have to revisit one of the memories I visited today. Like, it's the information's got to be in one of the memories I've gone through in this episode. I just don't know which one. You have been found I definitely... There's no way to get down below decks, right? As captain of this ship, and by the authority of the East India Company, and thus the crown of England, I sentence you to death by firing line. Mr. Wolf, when you are ready. Right, sir. When you are ready. ready. In. Fire. Brandon's the only one that's not a coward. I just don't see anything here. You know what? <sighs> I feel like maybe it's like they're communicating with the other traders. But I mean, that doesn't make sense. What am I talking about? I know which one of them was the traitor. Is that just it? Nothing helps me figure out their name. But something's got to figure out. Something's got to help me figure out their name. Is it just like their fucking shoes? <laughs> is that all it is? Like, I just gotta pay attention to the shoes they, they're they wearing? I think that was, that's gotta be it. That's gotta be it. Because this guy's got like... Like full... Full co foot coverings. And this guy's got like real low cut shoes here. I think that's it. Let me just go. So hang on. What am I looking for here? Shit. Shit. This. I'm looking for this. And then here. So this guy is the one with the, like, the low cut shoes that show a lot of foot. And this guy's got like the full shoes covering him. And he's the traitor. Is that right? Yeah, you're the traitor. 
You got the full shoes. And you're... Not the traitor. You're the one that gets electrocuted. And you've got, like, like very showy... Very foot showy shoes. <laughs> I don't know what I'm talking about. So we let's go back to Bitter Cold. This has got to be it. They wouldn't dare just give them generic footwear while they're sleeping just to fuck with me. They wouldn't dare. If they do, I'll have my revenge. I will have my revenge. I think the corpse is down here, right? Yeah. And there's only three choices, so like... If I'm right about the shoes, then it has to give me at least one of them. No matter which kind of shoes the other guy's wearing. Alright, let's see. Full shoes. Mm, full shoes. I don't know what that is. Oh, bingo. <laughs> oh, bingo. Let's see here. So 38. 38, you piece of shit. I don't even have to check because none of them, none of the others are wearing shoes like that. I mean, this guy is, but like, I don't know why his legs are... Like, they have a tiger stripe pattern or something. Who is this guy? 39? Ji Zhang. Okay, hang on. Just, just give me a second. Just give me a second. I gotta, I gotta be sure. So it is the one that's missing. What am I doing here? This guy right here. I mean, that's gotta be his shoes, so... I already have his bookmark, his memories bookmarked. And this is him there. Him, him, me, him, 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 me. And, uh, let's get out of this memory. That's why they put his hammock so high up. Damn it! That's why they put his hammock so high up. Damn it! Just to hide the shoes. I don't know where I'm going. This guy. Alright. Uh, you. That's you. That those are your feet for sure. I cannot believe it was just the shoes this whole time. And I don't know why I didn't think of that instantly. So you are I don't remember the numbers. Motherfucker. Alright, well, I remember this guy's the tiger stripe. This guy is the bare feet, and this guy's the the regular fucking shoes. How do I get added this memory? I don't think it's even Tiger Stripe. It's just hard to tell with the pixels. But that's just what I'm going for to keep things straight. Um. Okay, so back. Uh, back to the bitter cold memory. Because I didn't pay enough attention to the numbers. <laughs> you. Okay, 39. Let's just do this, because I know for sure he's 38. <laughs> that was a good sound. So, hang on. 38. Which one of you is 38? It's Huang Li. Huang Li? You were electrocuted. And then, um, uh, it's gotta be, this guy is, this guy is these shoes. He's the only one with, like, anything covering his actual legs. So, 39. Does it have the number here? It does. Ji Zhang. 
That means you are Li Hong. Boom. I got there in the end. That took way longer than it should have, though. Da da dum dum. Ba da dum boom. Bum. All right, so it's just the escapees now. It's it is just the escapees now. And I've got an idea for that. I don't know if I want to keep going. Get me out of here. If I ever see this memory again, it'll be too soon. Um So, the the doctor, the surgeon, is the one that gave me the note at the very beginning. Henry Evans. So, I'm thinking maybe to figure out at least where he is better. Hang on. Maybe I didn't pay enough attention. Is just, like, Spain or Morocco an option? I don't think so. Atlantic Island? What the fuck? Why is that even an option? Surely I have to be more specific. Doesn't that, like, count all of these? Anyway, I think, um, if I just bookmark his memories... <clears throat> So bitter cold. And was the other fellow some lung disease, not consumption, made worse by the cold will spread. If so, we'd all have it. Must have picked it up at the Lascar house. Checked all hands just now and everyone is healthy. Gave him some laudanum. That's not <clears throat> He does have a monkey. The monkey is his pet monkey. I don't know if that helps. Is this the door? Yeah. His many leather bound books. Let's just do the same thing. Let's be thorough. I feel like I should just go ahead and end it here. Because it's going to be another hour for me to figure out this. <clears throat> that's, that's the doctor's pet monkey. And I don't really know what that means. James Wallace. Don't know what I'm looking for. <laughs> I don't know what I'm looking for. I don't think there's anything in this one. <clears throat> Maybe his shoes will tell me where he went. Hmm. West Indies then. Oh, by the shoes I'd say West Indies. All right, what's the next one? The cow. Okay, we can do the cow. So the surgeon is in here. He's not he's not helping kill the cow though. 
one swing. Get true to skull in stone of rain. I'll cut her throat when you've done it. He's just with his monkey. Yeah. Come on before she kicks off. Just overseeing this guy. Getting wrapped up and all that. You all right there, sir? And then he... I guess this is probably the evidence that this guy is like... Definitely the surgeon's mate, because he's like just making the bed. And that seems like a surgeon's mate kind of job. You got some cake. <laughs> Alright. So does the surgeon having a monkey, does that, is that supposed to help me? Yeah, he's here. He's just looking at the mermaid. And then I think here he's talking with the captain or something. Or maybe he's just looking at the, the bodies. Making sure they're dead, maybe. He's just helping this guy who got its leg cut off. Hmm. Okay, let's jump into that one then. I doubt it's going to reveal anything. That's him, right? Yeah. Okay, so he's just... He just came out of his room. And is trying to help. And I can't see Jack. Shit. I can't see Jack shit. Where's the monkey? The monkey is the key to everything. Dun dun dun. Well, what do you think, Doc? Is that guy gonna make it? Probably not. Okay, so that one's a bust, I think. Oh, I think he's peeling this guy off the wall. Wow, wow, there's still alive. Okay, I thought he was peeling him off the wall after they killed him both earlier, but they're still fighting. And then he's just on the boat. You'll not take the last boat. Fuck it. Fuck it. I'm looking up where Morocco is. I'm pretty sure it was Spain, right? Where is Morocco? Oh, I can't spell. Morocco. Oh, northwest corner of Africa. <laughs> okay. I was wrong. 
Morocco is located in the northwest corner of Africa and is bordered by the Atlantic Ocean, North Atlantic Ocean, Mediterranean Sea. What the hell? I thought, I thought Morocco was in Spain for some reason. Oh no, they're just football teams. <laughs> is that, was I thinking of Morocco versus Spain? <laughs> I don't know. Okay, so he's in Africa. Fuck, I could have saved myself so much time there. Are they all in Africa? I should just do him. Well, I mean, if he's in Africa, then they're all in Africa. Alive. Africa. Africa. He's alive in Africa. They're all alive in Africa. Every single one of them. Two more fates, correct. Are the ladies in a different place? I'm just gonna say Africa again. I mean, I'm... I'm over it. I'm just saying Africa. If they're not in Africa, I don't know where they are. Okay. Solve all fates in chapter 9. They were in Africa. This is going to be a super long episode. Finale. Because I'm I'm leaving. Maybe I should say, is there a lot? Maybe I should just save it for the next episode. I don't like it going over an hour. Because I feel like when people see... Like the triple digit time. There's nothing left to do on the Overden. When people say the, the triple digit. Then they. They don't want to watch the video. Because they don't want to spend an hour of their life watching a video. But then it's just like a, like a mental trick. Where if it's any amount of time under an hour. That doesn't like quite register subconsciously. That it's. A, a long time, even if it's 50 minutes. But ideally, I want to keep the videos at 30 minutes. <sighs> well, let me get out of this memory first. There's a lot more, isn't there? Because I gotta fill out the chapter. So I'm gonna be going through a bunch of other memories. I'm just gonna call it here. Next episode is gonna be the finale. And next episode might be really short. Because I, I imagine there's not a ton left to do. But <clears throat> I'll definitely finish the game next episode no matter how long it takes. Unless there's like a whole nother fucking ship sails in and I have to solve 60 more murders, then I, I think I might just cry. I think I might just have a mental breakdown. Um, okay. That's gonna be it. Next episode. Last episode. I'll see you then.